Peak oil is simply the time when global oil production reaches its inevitable maximum and starts to decline. It is quite simply the biggest single threat that confronts our society. Individual oil fields peak and decline and so do whole oil producing nations. We're running out of oil, we need to do something about it now. Peak oil has everything to do with food and farming because we have a global agricultural system that's overwhelmingly dependent on oil. We've become obsessed with saying yes, that's the definition of good service in the modern age and everyone wants to give good service but you know, saying yes is destroying the planet. Peak oil is uh, not just an academic theory. Sometimes it's called the peak oil theory, but there's only some dispute between what might be called the near peakers and the far peakers. You know, and the far peakers say, well, we have 20 years to go before it happens, and the near peakers say, well, we should be so lucky. And the, the, the evidence is very much lining up in favor of the near peak argument. Certainly climate change is the greatest threat ever to face humanity and the rest of the biosphere for millions of years. However, over the short term, in terms of human economies, political systems and so on, peak oil is probably going to bite harder and faster. If we don't do something to deal with our addiction to oil over the next few years, economies will be in, in chaos and tatters and they won't be in any position to enact the kind of global agreements that will be needed to deal with climate change. This is real, this is now. We've all got to start modifying our behaviors in order to accommodate to it in the least unpleasant fashion. And I think that the Soil Association, as an organization that has a holistic philosophy and has its roots in having a wider view of the world, has a responsibility to act in relation to this huge challenge, perhaps the greatest challenge that civilized man has ever faced. The transition away from oil is inevitable. It's going to happen, and our food system will change as a result of that. The critical element is the transition, moving from one state to the other. And unless we plan, unless we engage proactively with that process, it's going to be a very, very difficult one. So it's up to consumers, it's up to government, and also the organic movement to come together to formulate a plan for this transition and to undertake it cooperatively as quickly as we can. The current situation is not sustainable. It must and will come to an end.